Are you ready to lose weight and feel better than you've ever felt in your life? I, the Minister of Wellness, am offering an incredible 50% discount code on my Lose 100 Pounds in 100 Days book, which contains the exact meal plan that has helped thousands of our people achieve amazing results. Take advantage before this offer ends by visiting the minister of wellness.com and use the promo code new you 22. Hello fam, welcome back to the African Diaspora News Channel. I am Ungil Zalalem bringing you this report. Today's report is about Mauritius finding the captain of Wakesho ship guilty. Let me show you this clip, we'll come back and discuss. The captain and first mate of the ship whose grounding in 2020 caused an oil spill on the coast of Mauritius were found guilty Tuesday of the most pollution ever known in this Indian Ocean archipelago. The Japanese bulk carrier in ground on July 25, 2020 on a coral reef southeast of Mauritius, releasing more than a thousand tons of fuel oil into its crystal clear waters. Another Indian captain, Suni Kumar Nandeshwar, who admitted during the hearing that he had been drinking during a party organized on board the ship, was also found guilty, along with his Sri Lankan first mate, of endangering the safety of navigation by a court in Port Louis. Their sentence will be known on December 27. The MW Akashio ship was en route from Singapore to Brazil with 38,000 tons of fuel oil and 200 tons of diesel on board, which quickly began to leak, but most of which could be pumped out. That was the most devastating pollution that 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 area has ever faced like that was a huge leak to the point where like all the people were cutting their hair trying to uh, you know like uh, absorb the oil because there was no way of saving that um, clear water that created so much chaos for uh, people in Mauritius and we've talked about this last year I don't even know when the water will clear up fully and you know the ship messed with a lot of people's livelihood and Mauritius depended on tourism like that water is their livelihood even as a country and this ship wreckage took that away from them at least for a year and this captain he's Indian um, and the ship belongs to a Japanese company were acting reckless he actually admitted that he was drinking at that time and they were partying which is reckless on his part and justice is being served anyways guys let us know down below what your thoughts are about this I am Ungil Zalalem I'll see you on the next one bye colonization never ended in the white supremacist system and as we see today, the colonization is in the mind. Now, those who have been enslaved and those who have been colonized, we're still dealing with the remnants of that through the colonization of the mind. Pick up my book, Seven Steps to Decolonize the Mind, and we will help deprogram you from the colonization that was put upon you by generations and generations of white supremacy. You can pick it up today on Amazon.com.